hello everybody and welcome back to my channel hi if you're new my name is holly and i film all different types of videos here on youtube to do with motherhood lifestyle all that kind of thing so if those are the videos that you're interested in then please don't forget to like and subscribe in today's video i'm going to be filming our bedroom transformation bedroom makeover type thing it's like present holly but all of the clips that you're about to see are like past holly um and basically the process that we've gone through and what our bedroom like before and what we've done and all that kind of thing up until now i'm really really happy with the way it's turned out so i can't wait for you to see we have done it on a little bit of a budget not like crazy but a little definitely a little bit of a budget um because we didn't want to be spending like loads and loads of money so there's been like a few little diy bits and we've done it all ourselves so that obviously helps keep the cost down it has taken quite a few months the first clip you're going to see i think was filmed back in like october or something and like plans and things have changed along the way just you know due to the timing and circumstances and all that kind of thing but it's finally finished and i'm so excited for you to see how it turns out enjoy the video and let's get into it okay so this is what we're starting with sorry about the noise i've got a little bubby here <laughs> helping me this is what our room is looking like zoom out a bit so this is what it's like i don't dislike it i just want to do a few little updates on it so yeah so the main thing i want to do yeah is change this head the, the bed was what i would really love to do because i'm just not the biggest fan of this crushed velvet anymore um so i want to change that please please what uh, would you like to get down up up down uh, who's that in there no 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 go down there you go but the thing is with that is we just getting a new bed is so expensive and we like to have the storage underneath so to get an ottoman bed or a drawer bed like they're really really expensive so i've looked online and you can kind of get like yes yep you can get some like headboard covers wrap things so i want to try that i don't know what color i'm going to go for yet because i don't know if i want to go for like more of a neutrally beigey linen kind of color or whether to stick to gray Ideally, I'd like sort of more of beige theme in here, but everything else is kind of grey, so I don't know yet. And then I'd get like a Valance, Valance, Valance type thing to cover the bottom of the bed, because again, it's this this crushed velvet, so I want to hide that. So that's kind of what I'm thinking of in terms of updating the bed. And then I want to get some new cushions, because again, this is a similar sort of, it's not quite crushed velvet, but it's that kind of style. So I'd quite like to update the pillows and the curtains. So again, depending on what I go for, I don't think I'd want to get rid of these curtains completely. I might actually put these in my beauty room um, because they are really pretty. But I don't know, I just feel like for the bedroom, I just want a little bit of a change. And then the other things we want to do is change the sockets here to some more kind of like nicer, pretty ones and something something needs doing with this area here as well like this needs like some trunking or it to be sorted with something there because it just looks horrible with all the wires hanging down um this unit is fine but i just need to kind of do something with this area you're doing some yoga this morning yeah wow but yeah that's kind of the plan obviously drawers lamps all that will stay the same um <laughs> you're funny come on then do some walking yay clever girl Eee! i will keep you updated we also need a new light fitting because i've hit this so many times of making the bed so many of these have come off and it's completely ruined thomas said that like the links have gone he can't even fix it so a new one of them as well those clips that i filmed they were from a few months ago and since then we've kind of had a little bit of a change of what we're going to be doing to the bedroom i'm pretty sure in that the last bits that i was just showing you we were just gonna 
try and keep the bed that we've got and revamp it. We are trying to do it on a bit of a budget, but it's just turned out now that we really need to get a new bed. Like the drawers aren't working properly, the headboard's broken off. Um, we just can't make use of the space very well because the drawers... <laughs> You've got toothpaste mouth, haven't you? Mouth. Yeah, toothpaste on your mouth. Uh, yeah, the drawers in the bed that we've currently got, they're just not used properly because there's two drawers either side, but one of the drawers, you're teething on you. One of the drawers you can't get to very well because um, the bedside table's in the way and we've got big bedside tables, so you, you can't easily move it. So it's just like waste of space. So we've ordered a new bed, which is really, really exciting. It's from Arista Living. Um, and it's going to be like an ottoman one, so one that you can lift up rather than the drawers and hopefully we'll find that that storage is better. So yeah, we've bitten the bullet and gone for a new bed, so it's kind of triggered now like a, a, a whole new bedroom revamp. So we're going to be doing some panelling. I've wanted panelling in there for ages. We decorated it a couple of years ago, but we didn't do the panelling because Tom wasn't so keen on it. You're getting tired, Bob. But we've convinced him. <laughs> And now we're doing the panelling, aren't we? Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. Daddy's bedroom. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're going for panelling on the back wall with the new bed. So we need to paint that. And then I want to, um, like I said previously, you know, get new curtains. And we need a new lamp or new ceiling light type thing. So yeah, it's really exciting. I cannot wait to get it done. I'm really, really excited. The bed that we've gone for is... Um, the extra ottoman king size um, of like the extra tall headboard and we've gone for it in grey like velour I think it is I wasn't entirely sure on the fabric to go for but that was what I think looks the best by looking on Instagram and things we didn't want to spend like between like 700 to a thousand pounds on a bed we just haven't got that sort of money to spend on it so We've gone for a Rista Living. I think they come to about a thousand, but then loads of people on Instagram have like half price, 50% off discount codes. So we've used that. So I think the total came to about 450, something like that, which isn't too bad. So that's the one we've gone for. And I'm really excited for it to arrive. Um, and I will now show you where we're up to on the panelling. This is where we are at currently. Tom has marked out all of the panelling. I'm going to zoom out a bit. So it gives you a little bit more of an idea. So we've basically marked out where the panel's gonna go. So they're gonna look hopefully like this. As you can see, this bed is completely broken, this headboard. So yeah, that's why we're getting a new one. <laughs> I've got a couple of different paint samples. Well, they're the same paint sample, but I was trying to look, comparing it to the gray and the white. I'm not sure that's Dulux Egyptian cotton. I think that's what we're gonna go for. Oh gosh. I haven't got much room in here because obviously the bed's been moved. Um, I can't work out whether it's too grey or not. It's kind of hard to... Oh! Hello! You okay? Hi. <laughs> I think that's the colour we're going to go for. Well, we've bought the paint now anyway, but I think in... with different... Um, without this grey and the new bed and like different curtains and stuff, it will just be the right kind of colour. Looking at pictures online, that's the kind of one we want. So hopefully it will look good. I don't want it to be too grey silver. I want it more of like a a beigey grey so hopefully that's what that will end up like it looks kind of weird next to the colour that's already on the wall I will get Tom to explain how he worked this out and the dimensions and all that kind of stuff because I do not know um we've also got like this weird bit here where the wardrobe starts so they're having to do something there as well because obviously that kind of ends further in than this bit here so I'm not sure what they're doing <laughs> to make it kind of meat but we will see i'm very excited though um and this light shade even though i love it it's completely broken um so i need to get a new one of those as so this is it with two coats of primer um so you, we've used like a MDF wood primer to prime this. I say we, Tom's done all of this. Um, and then this is the colour we're going to go for. This is Egyptian cotton in comparison to what we've already got on the walls. Um, it's looking really, really good. We've got the uh, different sockets in as well. It's looking really, really good. We're just having to <laughs> live with the room like this at the moment. But it's fine. 
Um, hopefully we'll get a coat of paint on maybe today. But I'm really, really happy with the way it's looking. This is the end result of the panelling. I'm so, so happy with it. I absolutely love it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the dimensions and everything just in the description box for if you want to know how we did it and how big they are and what kind of MDF and all that kind of stuff. I'll put that in the description box because I think that will just be easier than explaining it. At least then you've got like something to refer back to. But we did go for Egyptian cotton and I love the colour of it. I think, like I said earlier, hopefully like when we've got different curtains in here, it will kind of bring out more of the beigey tones and the silver grey. Absolutely love it. They've done such a good job uh, and yeah, so, so pleased with it. They did just make this bit here, so hard to open because there's all stuff in the way. Um, this part, this one is wider than the rest, but so when you then shut it, it looks the same. And when looking in this mirror, I think it looks really, really lovely the way it all goes across the room. Seems huge now because the bed's gone. So, so happy with it and can't wait now to get the new bed in here. A few weeks Yay. later and our bed has now arrived. Here it is. You're having a great time on there, aren't you? <laughs> Got a burn here from where I burned my hair and burnt my neck. Is this, you're using it as stairs, are you? You think it's a step? Yeah, the bed has finally arrived, but I am going to be completely honest with with the, kind of the service and everything surrounding the bed company. So as I said earlier, we ordered it from Arista Living and we went with that because they had a really good discount. It's going to be mummy and daddy's bed. Bed. Yeah. Uh, but in all honesty, we haven't had the best experience with them and it hasn't been terrible and we've still got our bed and we think, you know, we've got it at a good price. We haven't obviously put it up yet, so I'm not, I can't comment on the quality or the look or anything of it yet. But just the customer service side of things hasn't been great. Like the bed was delayed a good couple of times, which, you know, that's fine. I, you know, you can ex expect delays and, and things, but we weren't warned about it. You know, we weren't kept in the loop. We had to chase every time. We had to keep chasing to find out where it was. And then they would just give us another delivery day or expected dispatch day. And then it would get to that time. And then they'd say, no, sorry, here's another one after us having to chase them. So it hasn't been best customer service. Yeah. Um, I'm not really sure I would recommend purchasing from them if you want your bed soon or, you know, and I did then look at reviews and I think a lot of people have said a similar thing, like the customer service and delivery side of things can be quite difficult. The actual yeah. courier delivery company have done really well. Like when we've spoken to them, they were really helpful and they've delivered it fine. Um, it's just actually a risk to living as a company. Just be warned that things might be delayed and I know some people end up not getting their orders and I don't know. I mean, all companies have bad reviews, but yeah. we haven't had a great experience and I probably yeah. wouldn't buy from them again. You can't actually speak to a person as a phone number, but all it does is every single option you go to, it just sends you to an email address. We have been in email conversation with somebody, um, but they couldn't provide us with much information and, you know, they weren't very apologetic. I think it's just something that they deal with all the time. But we have finally now got the bed, so hopefully when we put it up, we'll love it and it'll be great and it'll be kind of worth the hassle. Fingers crossed. And to just be pre-warned, if you do order from them, that, that might be something that you have to consider and deal with. Yes. Here's funny. Stairs. <laughs> Stairs is a step, is it? Up and down. Stairs. Nice. So we are now just popping to Donnell and we're just sat in the back having a couple of snacks. We've just been swimming so she's having something to eat and then we're just heading out to the shops. I'm going to try Tesco's and Donnell because um, the bed's all up and it looks great. I absolutely love it but I need to get some new curtains and kind of reevaluate my cushion situation. I had already bought some curtains and cushions from the range but i'm not quite sure they're right i was going for more of like a beige beige grayish sort of theme but i think the curtains that i got are too dark of a beige so they're more like a camel tan brownie beige they're just not quite right i'm not sure what it is about them yet and the the cushions i've got are the same as the curtains so it's bizarre because I, 
I think the cushions look okay. Look really nice on the bed, but the curtains are too much. So I'm just going to have a look in Dunham, see what they've got. And if they've got matching cushions, I might try them out as well. And I want to have a look in Tesco's. Where I got my big white cushions are from Tesco's. They, I think the Hinch range from there. And I don't know if I want one more of them to do like three at the back or whether I'm just going to stick with two. I'm not sure yet. So they're kind of my options. I haven't shown you the room yet because I want to wait and show you it once it's done and complete i'll show you it when i'm happy with it i think because if i show it now it will just kind of spoil it because it's pretty much nearly done um but the light fitting that we've got i love uh so yeah i don't know i just need to just want to have a little look so that's where we're heading now so this is the room all done i am so so happy with it i um so pleased with the way it's turned out um i did go to dun elm i managed to get the curtains that i wanted um and it just ties everything together the bed is just gorgeous it is kind of still like a velour i think is the fabric it's called but it's not like a crushed velvet so um it's definitely more the kind of thing that i wanted we have really squeaky floorboards so sorry about that with me walking around <laughs> But I just think it looks so beautiful and everything is just tied in really, really nicely together. It's kind of awkward shaped room, so I'm trying to like get it all in for you. But yeah, I'm so, so pleased with it. I'm really, really happy. Just got baby that's just woken up, so she's just chatting to herself. But I thought I'd just quickly run through everything and where everything's from. So the bed, Arista Living, I will show you in a minute kind of the storage Um how that all works and that kind of side of it better is to living so then the white cushions behind our tesco's i think they're the mrs hinch range we've then got the cushions at the front which are done elm which match the curtains so they're this kind of like i don't know they're called like natural sort of linen type and like i said it's exactly the same with the curtain this bedspread is old and i've had it for years but it was from sainsbury's this throw is new and that is from the range bedside tables are the same which are the range the lamps are the same they are from ikea and then the new light is from dan elm as well and it has like the three like bulbs in it as well but i'm so so happy with it i love the way it's turned out i'm really really pleased i'll just show you the underneath bed storage as well so it's a lift up bottoman so you just grab it from the base here it's got the little putley and you just pull it up it is quite heavy but it, i guess it has to be doesn't it but it's manageable it's easier when you're not filming but this is the space all underneath it's not organized very well i'm gonna say that at some point i will organize it but i'm not holding my breath <laughs> one of those things that i just don't know if i'll ever get done but i've just got like clothes that we did have in the drawers and a few extra bits these curtains and cushions i need to return to the range because they were the original ones that i tried but i didn't like them so they're going back and then Tom's got his t-shirts and things, but you can just see how much space there is under there. And we've got like bedding under here now and it's freed up space in our airing cupboard. Like big bulky jumpers and things I've been able to put in here. So it's really, really handy. There is so much space. I'm just going to pop some of my leggings under there because that's where they live. <laughs> um, and then you literally just push it down on top. And it just comes back and it hasn't like disturbed any of the bed making at all so really really pleased with it storage is amazing and the quality of the bed is actually really really good so it was worth it even though we did struggle obviously with the service so that is it for this video that is our new master bedroom i really hope you enjoyed it and and, and sort of enjoyed the process as i said in earlier on in the video i will just like leave all of the information about how tom worked out the paneling and the sizing and that kind of thing because i think it will just be easier because you can then just have something to refer back to and like the numbers written down rather than me just talking about it uh but obviously it's going to vary depending on your room size and the kind of look you want so just obviously take that into consideration when 
sorting out like if you're thinking of doing panelling i think i've included everything in the video i'll try and link everything below of like where everything's from but if i've missed anything out then please just leave a comment or message me on instagram or something so i can get back to you and let you know where it's from i'm gonna leave it there so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye I've been dreaming about you.